everyone. Welcome to Bickering Book Reviews. I'm Sarah. And I'm Becky. And today we're talking about Unearth by Amy Kaufman. And is it, it's Megan Spooner, right? Is it Megan or Megan? We had this whole discussion when we reviewed Haunted. I feel like it's Megan just by the way that it's spelled. But I think it could also be Megan. I don't know. So, and I didn't realize that Megan Spooner was the same one from Hunted. I thought she was a different author. Oh. And I'm like, oh. Hmm. Anyway, so let me just get into what this book is about. And we got it from Neck Yelly. BT we did. Okay, so Earth has fallen into disrepair, you know, like it does because humans are evil. Um, but like an Wally. ancient, <laughs> it's like it is like Wally. It is. Um, but an ancient alien message provides hope and a new world full of technologies that may save Earth. Amelia sneaks onto a plant on the onto the planet Gaia in hopes of scavenging some tech that will pay enough to get her back home and save her sister. Jules, an academic, hopes to save the ali- to solve the alien puzzle and regain his father's good name. This unlikely pair has very different goals, but will need to rely on each other to succeed. So that's essentially it. Um, super loved this book. Loved like, it. Co- you're right. Couldn't stop reading it. Like it right. was awesome. Like, hello, other ends of the spectrum. Like, Hunted is on this end, and then like Unearth is on this end. <laughs> but they did that book series, and I can't remember what it was called about the the, the girl, the girl and the boy, and like, well, he was older. Um, and they they were, they were in a spaceship and it like crashed. Oh, across the universe. Cra- was, it wasn't across the universe though. I was like beyond the, the stars movie. or something. I can't remember what it was, but I loved that too. And so when I saw that they wrote another book, I was super excited. So now I have to go back and read that other series. Because it's a good audio book. This this book was really good. Like it is essentially Indiana Jones in space. That's what they keep, and it is so fast paced, and it's like a great adventure. It's a great girl book, but it's also a great boy book. Mm-hmm. I loved the characters. I I did love. I love. I loved like all of the characters. The world. I was interested the in the guy. characters. Even the bad guys. I you know. Liked, you wanted to know about exactly. Their world building is awesome. Yeah, the world building was um, awesome. I think. The only thing that kind of lacked for me was the chance, like, because to so- they had to go through different kind of rooms to solve these different puzzles to kind of get to the end to kind of solve everything and figure out what the alien message was. Um, the puzzles, I think, really didn't, they didn't get there for me. Like, that was the only thing that was kind of lacking for that, me. I see that, yeah. They really didn't spend enough time developing it, and I just don't think, as clever as the rest of the book was, it didn't meet the same level as the rest of the book. I can agree with that. I can and I will I literally though could not stop reading this book. I couldn't either. I mean and, and like and but the th- like kind of getting back to the puzzles like I love books like that. We've talked about that before like what goes up. Love those kind of books. So that's kind of why I was like Wah. yeah. <laughs> And now that you say that I can see that that was that wasn't as good. But I will say like anybody I read this. I think I read it New Year's Eve, and like anybody I interacted with, I was like, "I'm reading this book, and it's so good." Well, and I, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna recommend it to everybody. It's like this is one of those books where you like walk up to everybody and you're like, "You have to read this, so we can talk about it." Right, and like you were saying, it is like you can give it to that kid that likes Maze Runner. You can give it to that kid that likes Sender because there's so many things, and you can give it to the girl, and you can give it to the boy, and there's a little bit of romance. But they do everything. It's so much based on them being smart and clever and scrappy. That it's not inappropriate for the twelve year old. So I mean, there's just it's it was just it's like a great book, great crossover appeal. Because their other series is definitely older teen, but this yeah, and this, this one, is like you could do tween. Well, and this one's like hard, like because you really could recommend it to like tween on up. Yes, you really could. I and like I said, I just. I just enjoyed every part of it. There was no part of it that I had a problem with. I And I loved Jules, and I loved Mia, and I just... I'm just frustrated because it left it in a cliffhanger, a and I can't wait I know. another year to figure out what happens. I need to know now. I, exactly. So we should just rate it. Okay. So on Goodreads, I don't even know if I've rated it yet, but I was going to give it a four. And actually... I was gonna go up, but no. I think I'm staying at a four. I think the I think puzzles I'm at a really. Four. I think I didn't go into the rating system. Sorry about that. So our rating scale goes from five unicorns down to two unicorns, and if it was spectacular, it's a horse. I'm going with like I, I'm so it's. I'm going with a five. I can't think of. I know. I know the puzzles. You weren't as big of a fan of the puzzles, and I feel like the puzzles could have been done a little bit better. But everything else just fits so perfectly. I cannot ask them to do better than that. We're not doing half horses or half unicorns. I know. So I, we need to figure out a way to do halves. 
We can't. We don't want bloody stumps running around here. Maybe like a unicorn with like a sparkle or a unicorn with a rainbow. I, we'll, we'll talk about Well, it. we're not cutting off unicorn horns, so whatevs. Because you could have like maybe uni- whatever ratios and things and math that I don't get. I'm So I'm sticking with a four just based on the puzzles. I like in a perfect world, I'd probably go four and a half, but I'm sticking with a four. And that is where so we are where on we're at. Earth. You should read it. Yeah, read it. Bye. Bye.